All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Path vengeance per. I'll uh, look over Corvina stuff. Two or three or something. Three. All right. Cool. Four. All right, we got a brand new initiative system, so that's going to go a lot faster. Yes. We got the the team that we'll be running with from now on. Mm-hmm. Molly Makar has that. left us, but that's okay. We're going to Game of Thrones this shit. I got an inspiration. You have uh, Gregory Phillips gets inspiration, so if you could like put a check mark or something through inspiration. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, inspiration is something the, ding- the Dungeon Master can grant. Uh, for excellent role playing or great creativity or decisions or whatever, and I'm giving it to Gregory for stopping uh, his teammate from attempting to murder Kamali for no damn reason. Which team? No names will be given. Was it me? I don't remember last time. Was it me, right? Rem- no, it wasn't. Or it's because I pumped you so full of alcohol you can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, people. Immediately afterwards, I took this guy, stuck him so full of drink. Was it really? I don't remember. It's, it's, it's been no, weird. that didn't happen. <laughs> you can, see, you can play it off it. like that happened, oh, and just like, <laughs> and just be warily suspicious of lock break. Like, what did you do to me while I was drunk? Oh, thanks, Dan. You never fear the mice. You know what? You should, you should, you should, you should steal his gold money to sleep. <laughs> you should have done that. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't do a sleep sequence, nope. and no, and no one said anything when I said like, okay, you guys spend the night. Uh, so okay. that's something you gotta interrupt me about if you ever want to do that. All right, so <clears throat> we are continuing. Uh, we're go. Uh, we're not waiting for Meg much longer. She'll get here when she gets here. Yes. Uh, so last time we left off, you guys had defeated. Okay, what is this? Oh, a moment. That should not. I remember two. defeating a uh, hobgoblin. hobgoblin. You guys defeated uh, many, many goblins and a hobgoblin yeah. who was leading them to oh. destroy, to attempt to destroy the town of Bas. Basilbara, which you were staying in. Uh, Gregory got uh, vengeance for one of his sons. Oh, and a sheep. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, I remember that. A war sheep. A sheep. And yes, when you guys, uh, you guys got a war sheep. War sheep. Which is a, a an item of wondrous power. Whoa. Okay. Uh, it can be used for ten hours a day. Mm-hmm. Knowing Gregory will probably use as much as he can every day. And it can have several people ride it. Pretty much the whole team. If you wish. It is a gigantic war sheep. Everyone, if any, I'm just gonna say right now, if anyone wants to ride on my new sheep, you're gonna have to pay me. How much? That's how much. I'm gonna be an Uber service. Uber sheep. Uber, Uber. Uber sheep edition. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Two yeah. silver per hour. No, I'm freezing the price. A golden hour. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, bah. I'm probably not gonna. Ri- my character's probably not Ooh, gonna bah. ride that sheep. Ooh, bah. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, <bye. laughs> Just so you know, the sheep does have stats and uh, an attack and all that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Wilbur. Uh, Wilbur. Uh, so Wilbur, your new dog. That's right. You got a new dog after smelling like sausages all day, which your character <laughs> still smells like, by the yes, way. Yes, dear um, God. Uh, Wilbur has uh, basic the basic dog stats in the game that everyone gives to dogs. A uh, mastiff. Okay. Uh, and he is he's uh, because he's not a ranger animal companion or anything like that. He basically functions almost as such, and pretty much any one of you could probably command him. Okay. Uh, how receptive he is and how he interprets that command is purely up to the mind of the dog. <laughs> but I guess, but obviously he listens to me more because I smell like sausage. Uh, for now, yes. Yes. For now. All right. Gregory so. needs a freaking bath. We'll get him. Yeah. yeah, you can discuss that right now because right now you're on the road. You're heading to the next town, heading south. Oh, to where? Uh, you are all on your horses. Wait, to, to where? What town? Uh, the nearest town that you guys know of is called Timberfall. We're off to see to Timbersaw. We're going to find the uh, Timbersaw. That's a Dota two hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no time to come up with these names. We're off to visit Timbersaw to solve Timberfall. Timberhall. Timberfall. Fall. <laughs> We're off the bed. Timber slower gun and pull some timber. You're all on your new horses. Uh, they still have crimson rider livery on them. You could probably get that changed at some point, but right now they do have the red leather. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make. I'm a, just gonna sing that entire song while with a it. with a flaming scimitar logo on the side. Dude, that sounds sick. I am, like, far away from, trying to get as far away from Gregory as possible, because he still smells like fucking sausage. Gregory still smells very strongly of sausage, uh, 
Corvina is also keeping her distance. It's not a pleasant smell. It's this. It's it's just overpowering at this point of man sweat and dog and sausage and hobgoblin and, blood and now hobgoblin blood. And I'm a freaking and dragon. Tea, My senses salty, are fucking heightened. Salty tears and alcohol. It is a <laughs> slew of smells. I I vote first chance we get ambush him and make him bathe himself. Even Push him into a river, I say. I smell like basically I smell like a German apartment building. Christ. I better have oh. a spell for this. Damn it. Were you thinking prestigitation? I was hoping. But I didn't pick that up as Yeah, a that probably could have worked actually. It's so useless, well, but you know this is this situation. Chips. This Corvina have? Yeah, that's Corvina. So let me see if Corvina has prestigitation. Oh, my man. What, what? Wait a minute. I prestigitation. Think I'm like One of the abilities of prestigitation is that you can clean things. Ah. No, she just has Eldritch Blast and Blade Wound. Damn it. Uh, why why everyone has to have useful spells, I swear. Because we're in a du- because it's Dungeon and Dragons, we're gonna get we're gonna get fight things. Can someone have, have at least guy. one useless spell, you know? Uh, just a clean up, Gregory. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I got. Sh- Next no, time. I know. I know why. Next I know why. time. I, know why. I, know, I got this one guys, spell. It's called um, the Abstinence, but I never use it. App, guys. <laughs> Lock your sleep. Somebody needs to get a bucket of water then. Yeah, you don't. You don't need to do that. We just—he's still gonna smell bad. Good luck. No, no, because then we scrub him down when he's napping. <laughs> Does he even sleep though? Do you want to try and cast sleep? Maybe I could try burning it off. Are, of okay, are there any? Uh, don't burn it off him. It's great. Like you guys, yeah, yeah you do hear a river not too far away. Okay, so um, like, have I seen it? I don't, okay, so wait, wait, wait. Okay, so uh. Are we just kind of like in a line, or like are we in like a uh, like what what are what are we right now? Just I assume you guys room? are. You could be in a line. You could be side by side. Okay, moving cool. Obviously, some people are keeping the girls are keeping their distance from Gregory. Yes. So is there like um, how far is this room from us? Uh, we don't have to roll for any checks. You can hear it. It's probably like uh, half a mile away. Okay, so I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try and cast sleep on Phillips. All right, that's a spell slot. Um. I can get that back after a long rest, or uh, yes. Okay. I'm, I'm just remembering the goddamn hairy chest. And from so last what you're gonna time. do? Oh yeah. So you're gonna roll. <laughs> How many you know what I really five? like about this. You roll five d8. I can five borrow D8. some d8s with you guys. You know, I really so I remember. Roll for this one. one thing I loved about that no, town. No, you don't need to roll. That sausage woman who gave me all that grace. Just rub me without vigorous relief. Reminds me of my youth when my parents used to rub me down with sausage grease and then send me and my twin brother out into the woods to be eaten by bears. You know what's funny? So That's the one thing in bad time I won't forget. Yay, please. Oh, yeah, sure. No, that's uh, a... So well, Gregory is telling his... uh, Story by my... He's reminiscing about uh, the sausage woman. Yeah, lock break. Uh... Do you want to make this? Do you want to make this obvious, or you no, know, at I, least I, like behind? No, I, as I go up to him, I'm pretending to be interested. All right, you, I'm need, to make, some you need to make a sleight of hand check then. Sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand. That was good. <laughs> okay. natural twenty first day. All right, oh my you, God. Wa- you wasted your natural twenty on the joke roll. All right, cool. <laughs> hey, that's all. I'm useless in battle, right. but boy, I can be fun. And you, uh, class. no one notices as lock break. Uh, I, as I feel like I'm copying, I'm copying towards like sausage lady and just, just like see if I can win. Roll 5d8. Okay, so that's Eight, five, 9, uh, 12, 14, 17. Gregory, I assume you have more than 17 hit points? I have 20 more. Alright, uh, Gregory's ah. eyes kind of flutter and then he's like, <laughs> you got a little tired for a second and then nothing, and you're just like, okay, that was weird. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you have to beat how many hit points they have remaining to for the sleep to work. How much? How many hit points do you have normally? Thirty-seven. Dear oh, fuck. I know, right? Good lord. Uh, okay. Thirty-seven, and I'm pretty sure half of that is only because I'm like awesome. Mark off a spell slot, John. <laughs> Jeez, the whole time, mate. What's even when I try, even when I wear, make I him lose. A, go to sleep. Or oh, sleep no. just makes me go to sleep. You gonna try to euthanize me, boy? I'm, that was out of character, no, by the way. You didn't no, you wouldn't that. know. He got a natural 20 on the yeah, side. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, eh. Ooh, anyone get a bit of spell? If he'd got a natural one, you'd have seen him before he <laughs> finished the spell. <laughs> anyone have a, um, uh, anyone getting a bit tired of late? Mm. Probably get my accents mixed up. But you probably are. It's all good. Probably. Anyone feel a bit tired? Oh, well, you should probably take a rest, Phillips. Yeah, uh, I probably should. 
Hey, horse, keep going! I'm sleeping on the horse. <laughs> I was like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so is he actually asleep? No. Damn it. I'm pretending. <laughs> Sleeping with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust the man. Uh, wow, even when I win, I lose. <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> oh, poor luck break. I gonna, can I do a deception check to see, like, to see if they actually know if I'm sleeping or not? Go for I'm it. Asleep? Actually, I think we should probably do... Um... Uh, that will be a 18. Fuck. Uh, uh, two. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was looking at something else. That was a two. Sorry. That was I'd say bad. with all your passive perceptions, you can kind of tell he's not completely asleep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's because he's snoring like a whole <laughs> giant. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, I guess you'll do... I can tell he's fake and he's snoring like a drunk hill giant. <laughs> if, anything, I'm, if anything, I'm resting my eyes. Or I. <laughs> I, I. So, what next? Uh, if you guys keep continuing in that direction, uh, you will eventually come upon Timberfall. Uh, uh, Corvina seems to know the way. And a- as you're as you're approaching Timberfall, you hear uh, you're not really sure where from where. You just hear this voice go, Doom! 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 Better quietly. Oh, I do. do I have to roll? Do I have to roll a um, deception check to eat this thing? <laughs> Be quiet. Do I have to roll a check? Uh, uh, Swear to God, you make noise um, with that sandwich. Whipper would say, um, "Does anybody hear that?" I hear I it. Heard everybody it. hears it's that. It's hard not to hear it. I heard it. Wilbur, did you hear it? Uh, <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you for actually contributing to Wilbur. Anyways, Wilbur's just happy. He's uh, happy. He, he barks affirmatively. Yeah, yeah, but you're a good boy, are ya? You're a good boy, Wilbur. What happened to? Or is like the war sheet back to like the mini size? Yeah, I'm, By I'm, this I'm point, riding on yeah. the horse. I'm riding on the horse. I ain't wasting them. I'm, 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 you I'm, can I fit it in your pocket. So I ain't wasting a war sheet on a freaking old lady, okay? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure it's not just a bird? Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, well, we're, we're, uh, checks. Where do where is this uh, doom coming from? Roll me a perception check. Can I assist? Yeah, sure. Anyone can do it, so this won't Natural, be. Natural, I was asleep. I actually. Uh, right so this won't be eight. assisting. You can't assist each other on perception checks. It's not like Whoa. you're lending him your eyes. Uh, anyone else want to do it? I'll try. Uh, I'll give lady. it a go. Let me roll for Corvina. No. Fourteen. Push your, push your perception. 13 plus 5. 18. Push perception. 18? Plus right. 2, so 16. Alright, 18 and 16. You notice this old woman in the woods all... Uh, she's actually like got a greenish hue to her skin, and she's very warty and nasty. And you notice her uh, uh, lock break with your natural one. I'm, just, I'm more freaked out about the you're dog. Like, you're like, what the hell? You're like, you, and you're looking at the dog, and this old woman bursts out of the woods right in his face. <laughs> Freaks the hell out of lock break. His horse goes. <laughs> I need you to make an animal handling check to not fall off your horse. Uh, fall five, off the horse. Just fine. You fall off your horse. <laughs> so this old woman scares fuck? you and your horse. Lock break goes tumbling off. <laughs> and you're uh, on your back on the ground. <laughs> ah, I want to kill her. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> just. Oh, Fred, can I just bring out my diamond and just... Go any stand. further and you'll meet your doom! Out of our way, lady! We're trying to travel! You will meet your doom the quickest. <laughs> that is quite foreboding. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> well, it is true. You are the meekest of us all. Okay, I don't want any criticism. We're trying to travel here. Can we just travel in silence? Thank Let's you. Let's keep going. I don't trust witches. If you want, if a witch tells you to do something, you do the opposite. I hate witches with their crawls and their ravens and their weird cloaks <laughs> and their <laughs> staffs. No, no, then I just call out and vultures. <laughs> this is the only time Philip said anything reasonable. <laughs> Ooh, yes, dearie, and she looks right at you, uh, Whipper. Whipper. Yes. She's like, oh, I can see you. I could make you very powerful if you weren't doomed. 
Do, dear lady, I, I do not believe I wish to be that powerful. Oh, I you will. will. You will when you know what you're up against. Do. And then she looks at Corvina and it's like, you. Oh, I see into your soul. I can't wait to see how that plays out. <laughs> and, she, and like, Whipper, Whipper just like puts a ha- hand um, in front of uh, Corvina just because like she wants to like get, like push Corvina away from the witch. Yeah, she she's definitely like. You can see that that uh, that's definitely confused her quite a bit. Uh, you're not ha- sure what the reaction to that is. Uh, she looks at you, Gregory. He's like, you. You better not try anything. <laughs> she like covers herself up with her <laughs> pointing at you. Oh, you got to cover yourself Hands up. to yourself. You got you to cover yourself up. I can do this. I, I can... know you are tricks, Gregory. I can, I can do you one better. <laughs> He's already trying it. Ah, oh, this masculine chest hair. And I just like cover. I cover Corvina's eyes. She's already doing it. Yeah. And she looks at Lockbreak. She's like, you, you just, fucked. you just, fucked. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say. You should, you should fuck you. She said. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm detecting a bias here. <laughs> I, I had that written down. This can is I, can I, can I roll? An, can I roll a um investigation investigation check to see if I know this woman? Uh, apparently, she knows me. I don't know if I is like one of the women's like bone I had a kid with. I, don't I can know. tell you right now you've never met this woman. <laughs> you sure? Because I'm pretty sure I had sex with at least eight thousand women. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you have you have a pretty good memory. You're pretty sure like this one not your not your type. And you have a lot of types, but like this one, like, hmm, no, this crazy old one. witch no, lady. This is the one that's not his type. <laughs> this one. This one is not my type. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Out of uh, everything I could have put my pecker in, she would be the one I would. Bit of a boner killer, yeah. <laughs> a bit, huh? A bit. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> to be honest, though, I feel like that's, a, that's one of the worst insults you could say. You're so ugly, even Gregory still <laughs> Burger Phillips has standards. <laughs> really? Are you sure? No, really? Are you... <laughs> Not a lot of standards, but they're there. No, <laughs> I have standards. I will never bone a woman if she's married. Probably that, that. that's, that's honorable there. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Would you bone a woman before she marries? No, if you had a fiance, I will not do that. For Gregor Phillips is an honorable man. Okay. Like that. Yeah, how the hell did you have so many sons? He found many single women. All the single ladies, all the si- literally all the single ladies. Um, <laughs> Sorry. All right, she uh she goes doom. You lead them out to doom. Doom. And she like says a Homer Simpson thing back into the foliage. Doom. And like back. Is she gonna come back and ask for a jacket? <laughs> <laughs> no. And uh and with Whipper with your high perception, you you uh you all hear her doom doom. I mean, it sounds like she's going off in the distance, but Whipper, you see her. She's actually just behind the tree, like, getting wider. <laughs> and I'm just like, we, I can still see you. We can see you. Like, Locke just, he just waves. His, you don't. Huh? No, yeah, that's you a have, one. You You're the, like, where did she go? No, oh, she oh. disappeared with her evil magics. She's behind, she's right behind the tree. She just... like, she's like scuttling on the ground <laughs> hiding behind bushes. <laughs> I still see you. Come on, let's get out of here. I don't trust that witch if she could, you know, if she knows invisibility. This hag is not magic. She's crazy. It's always the crazy ones that know magic. What? By the way, what <laughs> does she mean? What does she mean by uh, what, what was the thing that she did when, when she saw Gregory like cover herself up? And what yeah, she she's said? like, don't you try anything. What does she mean by don't try anything? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know the story of Gregory Phillips. Actually. Oh, let's just. She's say- new to the party. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about actually, that. Actually, most of these people wouldn't know it. Uh, okay, well, I'll possibly. just say it right now. I'm a not a lying man. I'm an honest man, and I'll tell you right now. I. Once had a contest with my twin brother, oh. whom I do not speak of, but we are estranged. Okay. And at the ripe old age of uh, something along the lines, between 10 and 20 around on there, we had a, we had a challenge of see to see who could father as me- <laughs> who could father more sons, him or me. And I fathered. I don't know how many. I'm pretty sure it's eleven thousand plus. 
And I just, like, look at you horrified. However, I'm pretty sure, but however, I'm pretty sure me brother won. I gave up around ten years ago. I just stopped, couldn't do it anymore, got tired, wanted to settle down, make a sheep farm. <laughs> and even then, are you now some king of bastards now, or? <laughs> no! Gregor That's Phil- a great title. Yes! <laughs> Gregor <laughs> Phil- does not... We, uh, does not bed, married, or engage women. Okay. I only bed women who are single. Or the worst. Technically, that would still make your kids bastards. Out. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> That's Corvina saying that, but also mostly Eric. <laughs> <laughs> That's everyone with the brain. Exactly. Anywho. That's basically me story. I'm off to get vengeance on all of them. On all the ones who died with my book of infinite pages. And then I'm just like, how do you fit that many pages onto one small book? Book of infinite pages. Maybe it just can't count. (laughs) Book of infinite pages. Can you just not count more than 20? I can count. It's impossible to have infinite pages. Can I see the the book? Yes, I hand you my book. And I try, I like try flipping through all the pages and just keep them going and going and going. It literally like, as soon as you open this book, you're you're flipping through the pages expecting it to end at like 100. Because like, it looks like a tiny little notebook. And he just, it just seems to keep on going. And, and going I just, like, going. close it, okay. pass it back to him, and it's like, it's a book of infinite pages. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't come now, ice. <laughs> I meant to say ass, but then my voice cracked. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to, like, I'm just, I'm just going to tell everyone. Anyways. Let's get out of here. That woman knows invisibility. I don't want to have a dagger ending up in my back like three times already. She's right oh. behind the bushes. I have a feeling she doesn't know invisibility. Just a little bit. She's right behind the bushes. Let's just get out of here then. Alright, so you guys continue on your way. Yeah. Uh, you end up finding Timberfall. Timberfall. Which is a quaint, it's a quaint logging town that was just happened to be the next place on your way. And, uh... And uh, more than anything, like there's not really anything going on here, but you do know like two of your sons were here, so it's like, all right, might as well check up on them, see if they're dead or not. <laughs> My sons, uh, William and Bertram. No, Dag and sorry, I already wrote down names. Okay, can you please tell me that before I actually yeah, call up names? Yeah, no, it's cool, it's cool. Uh, it's Dag and where's the other one? Caleb. Dag and Caleb. Okay, so uh. Uh, we gotta make a list so we don't repeat right. names somewhere down the line. So make, make sure to like write down lists, cross off the ones. Yeah, and, like, I should. Yeah, we'll have to make an actual book of infinite pages. <laughs> I feel sorry for our printers. I know, right? Anyway, so I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go and uh, find Dag and uh, what's the other one? Caleb. 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 Dag and Caleb. Thanks. All right. So you guys ride into town. Uh, I guess there, there's take not off. a lot going on in the streets. Uh, you're, this town is right on the river. You can see like a, a lumber mill or two that are powered by the water. Uh, who has the pa- has to, uh, highest passive perception, just out of curiosity? Uh, I only have five. Fifteen? Uh, Not five. Oh, passive perception. Yeah, fifteen. Passive. Yeah, fifteen. I don't have time. All right. Ruordan, you notice... Uh, as, as you guys are, you know, galloping along on your horses, in one window of, the, of a house off to the side, you see a, 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 a young woman, like, she's kind of, like, peeking out, and then as soon as she notices that you notice her, she, like, slams the curtain shut. How do you slam a curtain shut? Vigorously. Pull, pulls the curtain. <laughs> it's like, it's like we... It's pulled the curtain shut. Okay? Not slam, because that would uh, assume to Yeah, door, that would imply slamming and... Uh, loud. Okay, I get it. Okay. Right. Um, did you guys see that? What? What is it? Well, there was a young woman, and she was looking at us, and once I noticed it, she just slammed the curtains shut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can slam curtains shut. That's besides the point. <laughs> she looks rather Oof. distressed. Well, we are newcomers here, so it's probably she's wary of us. Um, I don't know. I'm not with you, by the way. I'm off looking for my son. Seriously? Yeah. All right. Didn't you I would assume they'll right? follow you since they don't know this town. Oh, I'm like looking for a fucking blacksmith shop. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can find a, a blacksmith. 
This one is run by a, a very burly man. Please don't say hairy chest. He doesn't have a hairy. He's wearing a shirt. He has an apron. Okay. Uh, he, he has a big old beard and a bandana. Okay. Okay. And he's just working away at the forge. Ching. Ching. Okay, I enter the uh, place. I just hope this guy doesn't try to barter something and try to like sell sell something useless. What? Like a shield? I already <laughs> sold everything I've sold. I want to sell. Anyway, um, I, I'll probably just like go into like, good sir. Do you have do you happen to have a selection of weapons? Because I want to see if I can get like another weapon in case in case I don't want to use my sword or my javelins. Aye. Like, and, I have to do. Yeah. Hey, so what selections of um, weapons would be in this blacksmith shop? Uh, there's swords, maces, uh, not a lot. This is a roadside blacksmith. So give me that player's hand. Put in your chicken box on my player's handbook. <laughs> that smells like chicken. You should thank him. Right. <laughs> uh, some daggers for, uh, self-defense use that some people have. A spear, uh, a, a few bows and crossbows. I'll probably get a dagger for like in case. War pick, of... oddly enough. Ooh. I'll probably get a dagger in case if I'm like really up close to an enemy and be, and like I'm not sure if I can ha- like angle my sword the right way. So right. I'll probably buy like one or two daggers. Yeah, you can get a, a dagger. Just look at that list and see, tell me if there's something on there that piques your interest, and I'll tell you if they have. There's a, Wait, where's the dagger? Disadvantage? Daggers at the top. It's two gold. Skill mill. Does it have disadvantage? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably uh, get like two, like two daggers. All right, two daggers. That's four gold. Okay, so I'll just subtract four gold from this. And again, and again, I'm hoping this guy doesn't try to do something stupid, like what? sell something useless. And it's like, thank you, good sir. And I, and like, I'm, I... I'm on my way to leave, and I'm just dragging this guy away before he can do anything. Oh, I wasn't trying to sell anything. Try, I, I saw you. I saw your hand in your bag. My hand in my bag? What? I was looking for some snacks! Yeah, Which I don't have. What the fuck? Share no, no, broke. no. Chair broke. It's all good. This is my new dagger. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm the, the, the chair. A chair part. A chair piece broken. John was like holding it, so I'm like, what the fuck? Sorry. Hold a prison chief. <laughs> yes. Alright, uh. Gregory, uh, yeah. unless anyone else would like to do something, what are you doing to find your sons? Um, uh, I'm just going to go around, I'm asking around, like, Oi, do you know anything about dog or Caleb Phillips? Uh, just make, asking around. Make an investigation check, in that case. That's a three plus zero. Alright, uh, you, you're you going up to random people, just kind of shouting it in their faces, like, <laughs> ah, you know, my dad got Caleb Phillips, and grabbing them by the scuff. That like, actually, no! to be honest, that actually would be very much like Gregory Phillips. Yeah, and so. they're just like, they're like, no, ah, get away from me. He's not a subtle man. And they're, they're just, yeah, you're not, you're not making any headway. Can I do, can I do the same thing, like, I'm, I'm starting a long time to find more Kenku for now, like, I just, like, instead of doing the same thing of grabbing, I'm just like, do you, uh, in his words, do you know of dad and Caleb Phillips? Alright, make an investigation check. 12 uh, plus investigation makes a 15. Alright, yeah, uh, after a, after a, about 20 minutes of asking around, you know, going up to people, doing hey, it in a okay. much more in a much more friendly way than Gregory Phillips was doing, uh, grabbing people by their scruff, you're able, you, uh, you eventually come upon uh, one man who's... Uh, this this grim faced man, he's probably a grave digger from what you can tell on his bo- the mud in his boots, like Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> How? Hmm. It's like I'm basically doing it because you would probably scream back at him. I just want to go great Phillips. And you're probably still going around doing this. <laughs> yeah, you do you Lockbreak is having this conversation in the background, you can see Gregory Phillips going around, going from person to person. Have you heard of Tiger or Caleb Phillips? <laughs> Pretty much. He's like chewing on some root or something. <clears throat> yeah, I Dad. Mm. Got in a fight with that fella Vilnius. Or a girl. Oh, Vilnius God. stabbed him. Or something, I don't know. Wait, Vilnius is a girl? Vilnius. Oh. Okay. Or they, they farm over that girl, Liana. And, uh. And, uh, Caleb, uh. Yeah, uh, that, that, that. Granny Roddy Rumps got him. He, he shot her favorite cat with crossbow on accident. 
No, she didn't take too kindly to that. And I'm just like coming uh, as I'm coming out, um, walking away from the blacksmith store with this guy. I'm just like I'm seeing Gregory and Phillips like do this thing with others, and I'm just like, <laughs> let me go. Where's my son? Where's my son? Where did the take come? So I, I, I just like I, I Gregory, just what are you doing? I'm trying to look for my sons. How about do it calmly instead of yelling? I am everything. calm. What are you talking about? You're yelling. I always yell. Yeah. That's how I am. As You're as scaring as the townspeople. Good. Where are they buried? Mm. Down. Oh, Down okay, cemetery. So shit. Did you show us? I just go. Gregory. He is points. Yeah. I just, okay, I'm just gonna wave you over. Found yeah. him. What is it, Buttercup Man? Dead. <laughs> what? You're dead or like what? You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Ow. Yep, your sons are dead. <laughs> And I'm just like backing away because I feel like I'm backing away, pulling Corvino with me because I'm pretty sure he's this guy's about to explode. I, I, I just grab, I grab, um, what's your guys' name? Oh, Ryardon. Ryardon. I grab Ryardon as I do the same thing here, which is like, we're all backing away because he's probably gonna explode. <laughs> Honestly, is it really a surprise at this point? <laughs> no! And all the birds fly away as he's crying out, no! <laughs> now I'm just you don't know what did it! Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Caleb got killed by someone named Granny Roddy Rumps um, because he shot her cat with a crossbow. Hey, that's the Phillips <laughs> way. <laughs> Dad died because he was fighting over some girl. Got knifed. Hey, that's the Phillips way. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the woman's name was Vilnius. Leona. Leona. The guy's name was Vilnius. Yeah, the guy's name was Vilnius, the lady was named Leona. Birds have killed Vilnius and Lady Raggy Rums. <laughs> Raggy Rums? The bird of Granny Rotty Rums. <laughs> Granny Rotty Butts. <laughs> it's uh, Granny Rotty Rums. They're buried in the town cemetery. They. And I'm going Is that the Phillips way? Hmm? No! <laughs> Dick move. Make a deception Dick check. Move. <laughs> Make a deception check. What do you mean? Is that the Phillips way? <laughs> that's a uh, fifteen uh, plus eight. That's eighteen. Make an insight check. <laughs> He's gonna that's die. Such a dick move. <laughs> Is that the Phillips way? <laughs> Why would you say? I don't remember Locke lived with other Kanku. He doesn't have much way of tact. So we just told <laughs> Flat out nothing. You totally believe that. <laughs> you are extremely convincing. No, dying is not the Phillips way. <laughs> well, not saying buried in the cemetery is the Phillips way. Oh. <laughs> we don't get buried in cemeteries. No, that's stupid. We get cremated and fed to our sheep. Our favorite sheep. I don't think I need to roll for that. <laughs> All right. Uh, but this, like the story, but the story okay, is true. Uh, if you want to check that. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to. Um, uh, I'm going to go to the local. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like. Uh, 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 is there a tavern in this place? Yeah, there's a tavern. Okay, I'm gonna go to the tavern because that's usually a nice, seedy place for information. All right, you enter a wretched hive of scum and villainy. No, uh, <laughs> it's a it's a lum it's a lumber mill town, so. It's just a few people, you know, getting off the work day. There's flannel everywhere. Yeah. There's a guy behind the bar. Yeah, there's more flannel than you could possibly do. Uh, one guy behind the bar cleaning a glass, you know. Oi, you! Lumberman! Mm. <laughs> I want information on Vilnius. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm gonna make an intimidation check. What do you say? I'm gonna intimidate him. Nothing. I'm just gonna pull up a crossbow and just put it on the table. <laughs> All right. That is a three eight. <laughs> you take out your smallest crossbow and put it on the table. <laughs> Which is my hand crossbow, so. That is yeah. a toe crossbow. <laughs> Far with your foot. Just... Actually, no. I got. I, that's my shaving kit cross. That's my. That's my razor bow. The one I used to shave. He kind of looks at it dubiously. <laughs> You want like, the fine shave, man? <laughs> you want the fine shave? I'll give it to you right now if uh, you don't tell me. I'll tell you right now, I don't want no trouble in here. 
I, I run a I run a fine establishment. What happened between that? Okay. <laughs> uh, that's a neat little toy you got there. I used to just shave every day. It's a deadly weapon to hair. I'm. I, I'm just. I, I'm, all right. I can imagine I'm just sitting on the table, just looking at this. It's like no one ever follows this guy. He's funny. I. Uh, look, I, I. I. I told you I don't want no trouble. And um. Oh, you get trouble. Uh, you see that beard yeah, yours? Can... You think you'll be your like it after I shave a two centimeters? Yeah, I can see that. I'll just give you an example. <laughs> <laughs> I shave, it's a nice, like, I make a nice clean shave on the side of my face and I just reload with a quick. <laughs> see? See how smooth oh, I it see is? It. Like a baby's bum. Mm -hmm. And I'm that pretty is... sure this guy's like hoping just to get razored or something. You wanna order something? <laughs> hey! How much beer you got? No. I got beer. I'll buy two. How much? Wait, wait. I'm, I'm just wondering how many oh people, people are smelling oh, the slew of smells this guy has on oh, right now. Oh God. Um. Because <laughs> I'm uh, keeping I'm keeping me and Corvino away from this guy as far as possible. Yeah, it's not fun. It's uh, it's quite a stench, and people are starting to take notice. There's one guy in the corner like. You know, it's like what the heck is that? Hey, he like checks his armpit. Not me. <laughs> Where is it coming from? What the fuck? What is this? Uh, yeah, people are starting to notice. Um, the bartender does not seem phased. Look, I I don't got nothing to do with those boys. They decide to pick a fight. Ain't none of my business. What Squillman does with Vilnius and all that jive. What if I buy a film? What if I buy something off you? Will you change your tone then? I okay. If you're, I'll change my tone to sell you something. Yes, certainly. Do you want anything? How much is a beer? It's a. What was it last time? A silver. A silver. Yes. Yeah, I'll buy ten. You want ten beers? Yeah. He'll drink up. in bottles. We don't got bottles. We got flagons. Give me ten flagons. All right. Give me a gold piece. And I am a gold piece. I want. I, put, I like. I just keep an eye on them. He takes it, slowly, <laughs> bites it, the eyes use it viciously, and he starts filling up flagons. And uh, so Gregory, I assume, are you sitting at the bar? I'm, sit I'm not even sitting, I'm just standing there. Are you going to take there. a table? You're just I'm standing, standing there? I'm standing there. Alright, about ten flagons <laughs> come sliding across the bar towards you. I'm just searching at flagons because I don't know what they look like. Oh, shit. Let me see. Those things. Sparmuck. <laughs> Oh god, he's gonna get slammed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dr I'm gonna start drinking one. I was like, alright, this guy. All right, he's eyeing you, and he looks like he gives no fucks. I said, okay, what do you know about the boys now? Uh, <laughs> I want information on Venarius and Rotty Butt. <laughs> Rotty. What is Rotty Rum? Rotty Rum. Well, I know, I know, but like, he, that's basically him trying to spite her. Give me a persuasion check or intimidation, whatever you're trying I'll, to do. I'll, I'll just persuade you. I'll do intimidation. I feel like intimidation might be out the window at this point. <laughs> I'll do persuasion. Good luck. That's 17 plus 5. He's a. Uh, 22. Yeah, okay. Just watching you down all 10 at once. Just. <laughs> Alright, look. How's that intimidating? <clears throat> that, da that dag boy. He's, he's after this girl, Liana. They look really happy together. But that, hey. Vil that Vilnius kid, he's no good. And all these people around here know he's a no good kid. And he wanted Liana, and he wanted to have her. And Dag didn't really appreciate that. So if you could put down the tiny crossbow <laughs> while I talk, sir, I don't have to tell you none of this. Thank you. So they got in a fight out in the town square, and uh, well, I hear it, Vilnius used some magic to kill that dag, poor dag kid. And what about old Rotty Butt? You mean Granny Rotty Rumps? Yeah! She's a hag, she lives near here. Ain't ever done no good for this town, I tell you that much. I'm off to kill him both! Oh. 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 <laughs> Just realizing it. 
Now you're not Look, gonna... I don't want no trouble. If you could just head on out. Fine. I don't need any trouble from the law. Lord knows. Oh, he like, ain't the law. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I'm talking about the school nerd. School nerd is the... Uh, He's the captain of the guard here. I don't want no trouble from him. Skullnerm, that name's familiar. Skullnerm. Or Skullnerm. I'm sorry. Skullnerm. Mm. Have I heard that name before? No, you haven't. Okay. It's part of something else. Can I make a history check since I've apparently been here already? What do you want to know? I want, I want to know if I remember Skullnerm. Skullnerm, yeah. Skullnerm. Roll, roll history. That is... Ten. You vaguely recall, like, the captain of the guard, kind of a, like, and maybe he had... Do I, like, do I know at least what he is, like, his race? He's human. Okay. That's all I need to know. That's all I, that's all I just remember, pretty much. You, you kind of remember some gate guard who was kind of dumb. That's about it. He wasn't captain of the guard then, now he is, I guess. Yeah. Not much so. else. Old Squilmer is now captain of the guard. Yeah, no one's happy about it. Eh, good for him. He let that Vilnius kid out on, out, despite murdering that dag kid. Okay, now where's Vilnius? Didn't see much of a reason for it. Everyone saw him do it, but he's out nonetheless. Where's Vilnius? He's uh, uh probably in his uh, his family's old house on the edge of town. Done. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Ask where Roti Butt is. <laughs> Team, I'm off to do some murder. Uh, and I'm just like, I'm like, wait a minute, what are you doing? Off to do murder. I just said it. <laughs> Why would you murder? This is a nice town's place. I'm this is a lot worse since that villain you started hanging out with them kids in the red armor. I just stop where I am. Crimson Riders. I basically. And I just grab the Crimson Rider logo I have and show it to him for a point like this. Yeah, that's a symbol. Aha! Now you all have to join me! It's, it's, and I'm just like, damn it. I'm, I'm just like, damn it, because me thing. and Corvina have to endure this this asshole again. Yeah. I just sort of wonder. I heard that there was a Kenku Can I see? Yeah, I can. Oh. Let's remind us all. What would you, what were you saying? I heard that there was a Kenku population. Black, Blackshore. Blackshore? Oh. You're still very far off from Blackshore. Alright. To give you an idea, Blackshore is an island, guys, that you're heading to. Yeah. So you're just like, this is the trip to the beach. You're just heading south. <laughs> oh, cool, now we can do an anime beach scene. Eventually, yeah. No. no! You're still pretty You're still pretty deep in land. Um, uh, is there yeah. anyone around like playing dice games or anything like that? Uh, it, It's about midday, uh, but... It seems there's a gambling table with uh, a few guys at it. Like how many? Like how many all around? About three. I think I'm mm-hmm. gonna join him for a few minutes. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk. I'm gonna go everyone. I'm just gonna down another flagon. So I just drank two flagons just to give myself a bit of boldness. All right. And I tell everyone, all right, I'm going now to go murder a rich boy. If I die. I want you to burn me ashes. So I want you to render me to ashes and feed me to my favorite sheep. Well, not the boar problem. sheep? No. His name is Puppet. <laughs> Back in my home. <laughs> like, okay. I don't even know where you live. I can do the first part. <laughs> the second part? Not Both more difficult. Don't worry, I got a map in my book of infinite pages. I'm on page 4022. <laughs> it's just like, oh boy. Give or take a silver hundred. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's like, I'm just like, let me see the book again. And like, he handed me the book, I just like slip over and just like tiny piece of paper opens, like drops out. I oh, I try opening it up, but it starts getting bigger and bigger. I'm just like, are you serious? Yeah, that's, that's, that's not the book of infinite. That's not how it works. No, it's just, it's this tiny that's little a book. Pa- that's and a page every time you flip the, the page, there's just more pages. There's, oh. there's no, literally no end to the thing. So it's more pages. It doesn't get bigger. I thought it'd bigger. be funnier if it doesn't like, get t- bigger, it's just like... Yeah, you have to remember, you have to, you can't just add stuff to the, you, the yeah. other new, you can't just add stuff. Alright, yeah, right. I'm yeah. still new to this, so. Yeah, no problem. So that's a page version that folds. Yeah. And I'm just like looking at this and it's like, again, I can't, I don't, I can't, again, why, why would you have this type of book? So you... remember all of my sons! It's like, and my, get and this? don't forget their names! Because when you have 11,000 plus sons, you tend to forget! 
<laughs> what a dirty potter trick. You don't have any sons. And then I just like show, I like, let me see the book again. And I just like show, I just like open it up and just show off all these pages of stuff. You see <laughs> thousands of boys' names. <laughs> so what? These could be anyone's names. It could be the names of your old colleagues. There's also the names of his wa- of the women he slept with. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there's the names of the mothers. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm uh, I'm going to do off of it. You don't want to join me? Feel free. If I die, you know what to do. All right. If I don't die, I'm going to need you to post my bail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like. <sighs> How, I'm just That's like looking so at Corvina going like, how did we get stuck with this? I just rolled up dice. Do you guys, should I go gamble now? <laughs> oh, no. We're going to need that bail money. <laughs> <laughs> and it is like, go for I say go for it, John. What was your name? Lockbreak? Yeah. Right? Look, listen. Uh, I'll go gamble with you, alright? Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we could have a talk. Mm. So I'm going to go gamble with John. Me and Corvina are just like looking at each other, going like, men. Men. <laughs> yeah, no, no. As, as I'm gambling of John, do I lose any money, by the way? Or? Uh, it depends how much you put down, I guess. You um. Hmm. Uh, how much are you betting? Twenty. Twenty gold. Okay, that's like twenty gold. Yeah. That's more than these lumberjacks have. That's for. <laughs> uh, you are. They're buying ten. Ten. They, they'll. They will bet like two. Well, okay, each. I'll bet five then. For this Played first safe. round. I'll play it safe. All right, you put in five. Uh, John, how much do you put in? I put five as well. All right, five five plus six, so sixteen gold is in the pot. Uh, so we're gonna use uh, d6s. Uh, yeah, Kenny, make make a roll, make a d20 roll for luck. Seventeen. All right, somehow lock break uh, wins. Ah, damn that it. swindles you all. Okay, so uh, I'm going to. You're not sure how. Yeah, it's like you just how, much much how much can I get from this pot? Get 16. <laughs> so 16 is now. Lock break. Uh, I want to talk to you about, about Phillips. Mm. Now, <clears throat> I'm trying to, as, I'm, as I'm as I'm passing my coins over to him. Uh, um, I don't think he's truly what he is. Think about it. A man comes out of nowhere. Wielding crossbows, claiming he has eleven thousand sons. Doesn't that seem a bit improbable? Now, I don't trust the others. Warlocks and what the hell she is. And you trust me a rogue. Like you trust me a bird. Look, it's not a lot of reliable people out here, but I don't know, there's something about you. Something about talking to animals that I can really trust them, you know? Because I lived for a long time. 300 years, in fact. And a lot of the time, I've been living among animals in the woods. I just feel safe around them. Now, here's what, I, here's what I'm thinking. You're gonna take that? Lock break. I'm just waiting. <laughs> Lock break. At a moment's notice, I believe we should turn him into the authorities. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab my knife and just hang it by his throat. Just a. Not, not even a man, I'm I just like. Turn. Never call me an animal. All right, <laughs> acquaintance. Better, slightly better. Wait, did you say something about turning us in? Or turning me in? Oh, turning. I'm turning this into a Quentin Tarantino film. <laughs> Depends. What are the critics gonna think? Oh, well, he's a madman. Look, you can't sure. seriously believe him. Probably, probably not. But it's not really my concern. Now, think about it. People like you, thieves, I don't like saying that word, um, it's procurers right. of wealth. Well, you like money, don't you? Yeah. If he truly owns that farm, well, it's gotta go somewhere, right? And so I'm just cocking my head to the side, like, keep going. Now, that, now once they confiscate his farm, it's gotta go somewhere, where's it gotta go? Someone's gotta take his fortune. It says it goes to my neck to this son. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, it'll probably go to his oldest son. Now, who does it go to? No, it probably goes to the one that's survived the longest. <laughs> it goes to uh, With one all of his specific sons. sons. It go, actually, it just goes to the oldest one, uh, oldest son who's currently living at the farmstead. So Magnus. Yeah, probably Magnus. 
and this man, all the places he's gone to, you can't, he, he must have been cursed or something. He's mad. Not oh, break, you gotta believe me. He's crazy. Cursed with the curse he is crazy, is he not? <laughs> yeah, they have to curse you say? a thousand chest hairs. I hate, I, I, I hate, uh, I hate you my hand. That's, that's I, I'm just trying to say, I'm trying to make sure I was paying attention because half of me was absorbed more than the money that I got. So let me make sure I'm listening. You, yes. after if yeah. Gregory gets arrested mm -hmm. or killed, well, or whatever. Well, killed is a strong word. If he has an accident. After we cremate him, you want us to take his assets from his farm. What are we going to do with all those sheep? Well, I know a good recipe for shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> shepherd's pie. Oh god, the, the greatest part about this is, is like Andy is sitting right there, <laughs> but he has to pretend like he didn't hear anything. Lock break? I don't know where Corv Corvina and I are. I'm just you're following me essentially. So it's basically after I'm swindling. We're probably just sport. having some type of girl talk. Yep. Uh, lock break? I, I, and then I can, hit, I hit lock a, break. You can make a perception check for me. All right. Like what? That you're hearing all this? Thank you. Uh, I then hit lock break. Twenty gold. Damn it! Three. Wait, what's my it. perception? Five! I'll think about it. <laughs> I'm so glad you understand. I'll pat you on the back. Uh, so I'm just pretending well, to have... Take, I'm, pre I'm probably me. pretending just, have uh, uh, this is a... Just a friendship. A little, little friendship thing. Out of curiosity. Just some whispers. Out of curiosity, do I know where this guy is or no? Uh, you got the information of a house on the edge of town, but no actual directions, so you kind of just stomped outside very confidently. <laughs> but you don't actually know where you're going. Wilbur! Sniff him out! <laughs> Wilbur doesn't even know He's just kind of stamping said. around excitedly, because he can tell you're excited. But in the wrong way, I assume. Yeah, uh, but the thing is, like, you haven't given him anything to smell. One moment. I walk back inside. I walk back to the town and I start, and I'm gonna just start doing, I'm gonna start an investigation. I'm just gonna start asking people. And I was like, wait, where is this villain in your character? Where is this Val no, character? <laughs> I know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just so angry. I'm just messing up his names. Uh, that is, nah, uh, investigation nine. Uh, everyone's kind of like, what? I don't know where he lives. God damn, get the hell away from me. You're that smell. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who's stinking up the joint. The bartender's like, that was you. <laughs> Get out of my establishment. <laughs> oh, but I put ten flagons. And you only drank two of them. What am I going to do with all these flagons already poured? Tell you what, you can drink this stuff you got to get out. You either got to take a bath or you got to get out. And as soon as you say around the house, like, ah, and like the five guys who were in the bar come up and take a flagon. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna like now that everyone's um, a bit happier at me, I'm gonna start going around and asking again. <laughs> you're that smell. Now like y'all sound here, you're that smell. At that point, uh, a uh, a portly man in a in a significantly nicer jacket than the rest of the folks coming. He's got he's got a thin mustache. He's like, well, well, well. If it isn't Gregory Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do, ya friend? Heard you was back in town. Ain't you even seen you around here in a long time? Yeah. Might I was not, preoccupied. Might not remember him. My name's Squillnum. Don't know you. Captain of the Guard. Yep, yeah, don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> even though you said you did. Well, oh, like, I don't remember him that. But I pretty much forgot him. I'm really excited right now. Really? After yeah. you left my my sister pregnant with them boys? Did, did his mom have a did the mom have a name right now? Uh, you remember the mom's name? Okay, was... I'll just I'll just think of a name. <laughs> oh, old Lydia. Yeah, I remember her sweet thing. She's very nice, a lot nicer than you. <laughs> Talking to me, saying, "Oh, I don't want my sister messing around with a man with that much chest hair." <laughs> I told Leah uh, you she was too good for you. Well, 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 look at now. I remember you used to be skinny. Uh, 
Shut up. <laughs> I'm the captain. I'm very important in this town now. Yeah, I bet you get the pork industry going. What have going. you done with your life? I'm a sheep farmer. <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I live on a homestead with 50 something sheep. I lost count after 50. Because they all look the same. Right. Well, I heard you've been poking around about Dag and Caleb. Yeah. You didn't kill him, did you? No, I didn't kill oh, him. Okay. Just making sure. No one knows who killed him. Really? No. There's not enough evidence. I could press charges on anyone with such a lack of evidence. And I'm just looking at the guy going like, how stupid is he? I don't know. He's probably stupid than me. Check on how dumb this guy is or like investigation. Okay. Oh, uh, we're there you, now. You can right? make an ins- you're he you're all in the bar. All right, cool. cool. Uh, you can make an insight check. Yeah, it's like at this guy's any brain cells. Fourteen. Some John. How you doing? Four- okay, insight fourteen. That's it. Uh, you can tell he's not <laughs> he's not a dumb guy, but he is. He's a few playing coy. Sure. <laughs> he's playing coy, uh, definitely, and uh, you get a feeling he is lying. Mm. Can I am uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make an intimidation check. He's like I know I, I'm gonna tell him like you're the sheriff in this town. You know a lot of stuff going on around here. You tell me what I want to know, or I'm going to get Phillips on ye. Make an intimidation check. That is uh thirteen. You would think you'd have a much better intimidation like- check. Oh, what, you're going to try to seduce me now, too? <laughs> well, that's not going to work, Mr. Tiny Cross. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now I remember why I hated you. <laughs> the tiny cross. You hated him for the tiny crossbow? Always leaving tiny crossbow bolts all over my house. <laughs> Little bits of hair on the bathroom. <laughs> and your shaving crossbow, you and your crazy ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you haven't seen one of my newer inventions, the crossbow lass. I don't even know, I'm not going <laughs> Get out of my town. Or what? You're going uh, to kill me? I, I'll. Uh, You're going to kill me, he kinda takes a He takes a look at the crossbows. It's like, I, I have the entire guard behind me. And I got 300 I, crossbows. I don't need you interfering with official business and going around killing people. And then I just yell out, would you men stop comparing your sizes already? I fired a tiny crossbow. I fired a tiny crossbow bolt at her. It just bounces off your armor harmlessly. Like, really, Gregory? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I'm not even I, I, just, I just look at this guy. I'm not even I'm not even, I'm not even trying to hide him staring at him. What do you want? I say in his voice, where does Vilnius live? <laughs> See if I can make it for swinging Jack. I, yeah, let's try it. I'll tell you right now, he's like, I ain't telling you where Vilnius lives. He's <laughs> like to go and kill the kid. It's like, I don't, know what, I don't know what you heard, but Vilnius is 100% not behind... Dag's murder. It is just a misunderstanding. That's all. Can I make a can kid I make tracks? I'm gonna make his name. You can make an insight. He's making weird gestures with his fucking coat. Oh, he's lying. Yeah, he's lying. I just, I'm gonna just quickly, I'm gonna point over. I'm looking at Phillips, I'm doing this, like, pointing at him, shaking my head, no, like, uh uh-uh. uh. Okay, so you don't know nothing? Die, die, I, I know. Now that villain is, he's, he's a good kid. Really? What oh, some voice is breaking. He's a, he's a good kid. What if I fired off that mustache of yours? Don't be don't <laughs> in my mutt. I'm going to roll a tradition. Make a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> that is... I'm going to have my Burmese t-shirts with this. 17. <laughs> He's genuinely afraid for his mustache. You know? I fire. You know, I'm, I'm just going to make intimidation. I'm going to, for my intimidation, I'm just going to fire my little tiny crossbow. It's going to shave off half his mustache. Make an attack roll. <laughs> Okay. Those are my thoughts. For his mustache? I just yeah. mustache. What's his arm, uh, the arm class of his mustache? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that will be 15. 
Oh yeah, the, the half of his mustache is oh, on one God. side. It's just gone. Like not entire, not an entire half of his mustache, just half of the mustache on <laughs> one side. So the left side of his face is now missing this bit in the center of Near left the half of his bow. mustache. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> dang it, Phillips! You got to tell him what I know. Do I have to shoot the other one off? Don't be threatening my mustache. Oh my you God. can't threaten a man of the law. What if I threaten your life? <laughs> <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Oh boy, here we go. This one be fine. Uh, 18 plus 5. Oh, oh shit. This be fine. I, I don't want no trouble, Phillips. <laughs> I just... I just do what them fellas in the red... Tell me what I want to do. know! I just... I, okay. Okay, that Vilnius, he's cool. He's... He's a messed up kid. Okay, he's got in with a bad He's sword. just like wiping away the sweat on him. And I, I yeah, he's throw, sweating profusely now. He takes I, out a handkerchief. I just throw the logo in his face, just like this. Yeah, that's the one. He, he's like, he takes out a handkerchief. He's like mopping his brow now. It's like, look, I didn't, I put Vilnius in, in, in jail, just like I was supposed to. But then them guys in red came up to me and I didn't want no trouble. I want, I didn't want, they was saying they was going to do some awful things, just awful, oh my lord. <laughs> and and like, I just, I could not abide it, so I let Vilnius go, cause I hate you and your sons, I don't want nothing to do with that. And I'm let so, a criminal I, I, go? I, I, I'm sorry, do I, I know you? Are you bloody mad? So I just thought, I look at oh, the yes. barkeep and I'm pointing at the, I'm pointing at this wimp of a, of a captain and it's like, Really? I didn't vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, though, if you had a man who just shot off your mustache and now threatening you for hand crossbow, I think you'd be a bit intimidated. And I was about to fall off. What? My like, goal is like the papers worn through. That's but, because you write I'm just like, I can think of ten, ten, like, the men in here are much better than this wimp of a man. In fact, I'm not even sure he's a man. Mm-hmm. He's half a man now. So, I'm, uh... Hey! <laughs> so about this information? Huh? About this information, is it like gonna continue on or? Uh, he's like, uh, look, look, I don't want none. I, I, I just, I just wanna, I just, I don't wanna die. You gonna tell him? You gonna tell me what the, where he lives? He lives on the edge of town. Which side? And he gives you, he gives you, he basically tells you where it is. It's the okay. house on the edge of town. We're like basically to the to the west side of town. Okay, I'm gonna to my head. I want to click my crossbow. And, and like, I'm going to put away. <laughs> You're a good man. Good captain. Keep up the good work. Yes, yes I am. And I'm just like, look at Gregory and like, just do, just gesturing at this like, whip. And I was like, Oi! If a man points a crane crossbow at you, wouldn't you be sweating? Have a point your crossbow right at Oh right. my lord. And <laughs> <laughs> like, you pulling out the tiny ass one. And I'm just like, and so we just head. I'm pretty. Um, at this point, I'm pretty sure we're heading off to the. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, gonna. I'm gonna. No, you don't know that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna head off. You have to. If you want to follow, you can. Uh, you're basically making us follow you. Apparently. After that, I'm not making you do anything. This is all. This is all a vendetta. You have free will. You yeah. Can do as you wish. All right. I'll just probably stay here with with like this. I, I'm probably just gonna stay here with. Who's going with Gregory? Probably lock lock break, lock break, and I'm lock not sure break. what this guy is doing. I'll go Plus, with. I'm trying to think if I should go back to gamble more, so if I can't swindle more suckers, I can look maybe. I have right. a look at lock break. Yes. Do you want to keep gambling? I'll try one more round, then I'll quickly race after him. All right. Show How me. much you betting? Uh, okay, five more gold. Uh, you betting again? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. You know what? Before I go, actually, um. Same thing, five more. Before I go, I'm gonna load up. Oh, with what? In, I'm going to just go outside the tavern. I'm gonna put on that studded leather. All right, you put on the studded leather armor in front of the town, basically. The town <laughs> I just square. pull off my shirt. I pull off my. There's some middle-aged <laughs> women walking by with baskets. They're like, Ooh. <laughs> oh god. I pull off. Okay, I'm gonna I just just visualize this. This is the Phillips this. way. V- visualize it's this. It's the Phillips way. I just visualize this. Okay, guys, I. Un- I uh, undo my gamut, so I just throw it onto the ground, and then I pull out this stud of leather, hook it onto a, um, know, hook it onto a fence, while I just take off my shirt. At this point, I'm my... pre- I just, me and Corvino walk out the bar, keeps like, no, not again! I take off my shirt, <laughs> wring out whatever grease is in there, <laughs> I put it back on, and then I put it on the studded leather, I and I'm like, alright, ready to go! Alright, you now have one more AC point. Yeah! 
Okay, I, I just imagine we... Wilbur licking up the grease now. He's like, <laughs> Wilbur is excited again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With grease. So, okay. Uh, so do we gamble and should I roll? Uh, how much are you betting? Five. 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 five I roll with you. Five. Okay, roll. Uh, John. Yes. Roll deception. Perception. Oh, uh, or deception. You, you can roll insight. I guess so. Nah, I got not one. Not one. We both suck. Oh my god. Okay. Can we just re-roll? The yeah. first time you guys were alright. The all right, second well, time you fuck we're up. All you drunk. Fuck. Believe it or not, these guys at the table. Uh, Someone else what? They rolled a two, and <laughs> one of them one of them picks oh, up. Oh five. One be plus plus. Hey, you got a natural one, dude. All right. One. one of these guys picks up your dice, and he's like, "What the heck?" And he starts throwing lock breaks dice around, and they keep landing on the same numbers. You're cheating. I wonder if I should do the. Uh, I'm gonna try. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to. Uh, to talk to them. I'm gonna use persuasion. Oh boy. What are you gonna say? <clears throat> Wait, I this. I found out the target. Oh. This bird. What the? Uh-oh. I've Uh-oh. known this Uh-oh. bird for for a while now, and I'm pretty sure that he's not the cheating kind. Look at these dice, and he keeps rolling them, and they keep running on the same exact number. You came in with this guy. You two came in here to swindle us, didn't you? No, what are you talking about? Squill I've them. never seen These that guys are life. cheating the dice. Corvian so, uh, and I just hear the, hear the thing from outside. It's just like, should we help them? And I, I can't do that! And we just walk Wait, away. I thought I would tell you that I would be rolling the load dice. Hmm? I thought I'd be telling you that I would be rolling the load dice. I thought you would be doing it all the time. I think that's supposed to be... No communication in this game, I swear. Okay, well, you need, we okay. have horrible communication. That, yeah, just like you like guys the, know. The, the players are their own thing, the game's doing his own thing. I'm we'll we'll so, keep going so, for the sake of the story. We'll keep going. We'll keep going just for the sake of the story. Let's go. Is that two? Okay, I'm going to try to persuade them. Plus four. Is that what okay? are you going to say? All right. Uh, I've never seen that little dice in my life. And I'm sure that... Well, there was this witch. Which was a forest... Wait, this is probably deception, right? If you're lying, it's deception. All right, deception. Deception. It depends. Oh, boy. Right, look. You've never seen the loaded dice, so that's percep- So that's actual persuasion. Okay. Wait, so but wait, wait. What do you want me to roll? You might roll twice. Yeah. Oh, okay. One, okay. For, okay. one for each. One for each. I've never seen those before, but, you know, I, I've i seen, you know, a, a witch on the side, you know, right, right outside of town, and she switched his dice with her, with, with her own. She is deliberately trying to get us caught. All right. Um, it is not our fault, and you know what? I think we should just. I'll give him, I'll give you ten gold to compensate. Roll one in persuasion. All right. And another of deception. Damn it! Eleven total. For the first one. Now what's the second one? For the second one. All right. Deception, right? Yeah. Uh, fourteen total. All right. Uh, they seem to believe you on both counts. They can tell you're honest. When you're saying you've never seen those dice before, at least for you, uh, and they 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 seem wary about believing the witch one, the witch thing. It's like Actually, how ones. would a witch swap out swap out dice? Because how much magics. were you playing dice with the witch? For magics. Look, you know, how about I compensate all of you guys to gold each? They bet more than two gold each, you know that. Really? Trip back. I thought, I thought. Like, but they bet two gold per round oh. each. So four gold altogether is what he. How many? How many people are playing? Three. Three. Yeah. I'll toss out twelve gold. Give them four gold each. Compensate. Will they take that? Yeah, they'll take that, right. and they'll eye him very warily, and they'll walk off to go home or whatever. All right. Good day, man. Yeah. Damn cheating birds. <laughs> So what about Phillips? <laughs> this man has a lot of enemies. Possibly. Now, when you have a lot of enemies, when you yell and scream, wouldn't he have a few people who want him dead? Possibly put a bounty. <laughs> now, you're a thief, or. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Procurer of wealth. Out of curiosity, does my smell linger in the bar? Bar? <laughs> <laughs> ah, my God. I love the smell. Like, it's, we go, keep like, on going back to the fucking smell. Got, it keeps coming back to the smell. Because he's still fucking greasy and, dr- and, and, and like, yeah. smells as, like, alcohol and hobgoblin blood. 
He hasn't taken a fucking shower yet. Okay, so continue on, please. I just wanted to bring him. I just wanted to bring him back. A man like this also has a bounty on of all the women he slip around with. Maybe, uh. There'll be some of them who probably want to report him to the authorities for not fathering their child. He has a lot of debt. You haven't had around Kenku, had you? It's worth a shot. What, what do you say, Lockbrain? Like I said, I will think about it. Right now, I just want to get to other more Kenku. See if I can't find anything about this Crimson Rider logo. Out of curiosity, what is with you and the Crimson Riders? Your character in the Crimson the Riders. You're gonna have to. Your character will have to talk to my character in order for me to tell you much of anything. Alright. Well, so, which, will, which will come out about later, I'm sure. Do, do I know what, what happened with his family? I don't know. Have you told anybody? Can no, I do like a, uh, from what I can tell you, I actually never told anyone. Yeah, can I do like no a... One's, it's like, you guys talk to each other, and Locke's just around following... Well, you never asked. Well, well no one ever asked. So, I'm just gonna leave the tavern, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are watching, because they probably still think I cheat a lot. <laughs> yeah, the Which people I that are in the tavern <laughs> are eyeing you warily, and you know no one is gonna gamble with you here now, probably. I just leave. I'm just like, go live, still have a chance. All right, I hope you find your family, mate. And I hope you can see that there are evil in this world, and this man embodies, uh, embodies all of it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? I heard no. you hit it. <laughs> wow! Out of, out of DM, okay, leaving, leaving my DM's chair for a minute. This is great. This is great. The oh no, I was trying to say something. He's great. The skullduggery going on in the bar while Andy is out. I'm sorry. What, what did I say? Take away an I'm sorry. What, but what did you say? The goddamn skullduggery going on every time you step out of the room. <laughs> As you're sitting right there. <laughs> I, I, I say, I say, just for good. If I were the DM, I would give you inspiration, but I'm not the DM. That's good role playing. Oh, yeah. I'll think about it. Oh. Oh, that's just great. Oh, if this plays out, okay. Um, you know what? Just for the comic relief, I'm just gonna burst back and I'm like, "Boy, Elf, Birdman, you coming with? I love you both, and I treat you both with my sons." <laughs> <laughs> No, like you almost I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. I'm just wondering. Yeah, I could just that imagine. That's so weird. No. I'll allow it. I'll, do I'll, it. Do it. I'm yeah, just basically, gonna. I'm approaching the door, and that's when you just. Okay, I'm just gonna burst in and tell like, Oi, elf, murder. You coming with? I'm gonna trust you both with me life currently. With what we're doing, this kill murder thing. I look at Lockbreak. <laughs> I just said. I just had to go, even though he almost took my head off with the door. <laughs> I'm not very good. I'm just having this giant smile on me. Save my skin, yeah. I still on. Hyperventilate. I think Vivian's dying. Vivian, okay? She's dying. Okay, She's going for medics. Okay, let's do it. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Let's take five until she calms down. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna stop this recording. Uh, yes, you plan on... Do, you're getting these people together. Uh, I'm getting what, people together. If they are want you to. going? Are you letting Gregory... Because I know you've been plotting against him for the last half hour. So I want to know... There. He's right there! I want to know this is this is Eric speaking. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Um, joking, bro. Are you going? Are you going to... Yeah, Are you going to somehow swindle your way out of this? What's going I need on? more evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Like, oh, your yeah. own brother, man. <laughs> I'm going. What? Go. Not gonna lie, Asian families. This, this happens all the this time. This is some shit. This <laughs> <laughs> happens all the time, right, Kenny? You're right, John. Kenny. Look at China. I'm, China's I'm back still, to that central. I still own the one. I still have for saving my butt from the cruise. All right, so you're going with him? I'm going with him anyway. No. no. Uh, what is what is Lady Thanis Whipper Navi doing? Um, I'm just gonna go with them. Like I said, I have my character at the moment doesn't have anything else to do. I'm not sure what Corvina does. Like... Uh, Corvina, she's like, you know, I kind of want to be there to make sure they don't die. Same. But I also, also want to like change the bridles on our horses so they don't have those crazy crimson rider stuff on it. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to just change those maybe. Yeah. So I'm gonna go order those. 
just like talk to the blacksmith or stable hands or something real quick. Yeah, and then I just tell Grafina, I'll take care of like the not making sure they don't die part. Okay, you take care of the horses. horses. Okay, please, I'll, I'll, I'll do that so no one tries to murder us on the road or anything. I just want to check on some stuff. Feel okay, like that's thank a you. good idea. Yeah. Uh, but she does. Uh, um, she's like, go with them, and the little raven. Uh, hops onto your shoulder. I just like yeah, gently yeah. pat the raven because I'm not sure how big my hand is compared that to the raven. Like uh, you pr- it's pretty big compared to the raven, but just it's like, like gently. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just here making sure that these fuckers, like these fuckers, are just like end up getting themselves killed. All right, so you know where the house is now. Yep. I'm uh, gonna. Yeah, I'm just going to walk over to the house. I'm gonna make. I'm, I'm not even gonna try to pretend to be. Subtle. I'm just gonna walk up there. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna walk up there. Get about maybe uh, I don't know, 20, 30 feet away from the entrance. And I'm gonna move up. And uh, how big is this house, by the way? As I'm walking up. It's a. It's a big house. Is it's it like two- a manor or is it like a estate? It's a mansion. Two story. Two story. Uh, two story building. Nice. There's a gate outside. Okay. Is there gate guards or no? Uh, there is no gate guard. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to open this thing. I'm just gonna like. Eh, if it's, I can. it's not a big gate. It's like a. Waist high gate, you know. Oh, okay. Like one of those neat little ones. I'm gonna try to open still. I'm gonna. All right. Take open, open the no? with those fence doors. Is it locked? Uh, it, it's one of those ones you can open really easily, actually. So it's just kind of you flip it up and okay. open it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna turn to lock breaks. Like, okay, I do not need you. <laughs> wow. I might need you for later, so please, I beg you, stay. You are very crucial to my plans. I literally am making this as I go on. He's just torn between these two. <laughs> one bribes my ass. The other one one is trying to get him to turn the other in, and the other one is guilt-tripping him into not. It's so great. Well, not, I don't know that he's trying to pretend. I know, but I know what you're doing, and it's glorious. And I'm just, <laughs> like, sitting, standing, you are like, men. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk up to this. Okay, I'm going to have you all stand behind me. It's gonna look awesome. <laughs> Presentation is everything. Okay. Madness. I'm gonna walk up to this, and then I'm going to tell them I'm, uh, I'm going to walk up to this house. I'm going to go 30 feet. I'm going to start screaming like, Oi! Rich boy! Come out! I need to talk to you! Can you blow those guys? Oh, sure. No problem. Uh, looks up real quick. No problem. You hear from a window upstairs like, Who are you? What do you want? My name Gregory Phillips! Never heard of you! I am the father of Dag and Caleb Phillips! Uh. Come out with your hands! Come out and meet me in person! Or I'm going to shave the painting from your house! <laughs> Alright, one moment please. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just I, here. I, just... Honestly, I think I could, my, me and my boy can make a t-shirt of the best Phillips quotes. <laughs> The Phillips way. The Phillips Sh- way. Using a crossbow to shave. Gregory, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> wisdom saving. Wisdom saving. Uh, wisdom saving. Wisdom saving check. throw. Right. You hear the strum of a dulcimer. That's eighteen. All right. What's uh, a dulcimer? It's a it's a stringed instrument. Okay. Uh, you go no, screw off, off, old man, and you're like, and you kind of take that to heart for a second, like old man, and then you're like, wait a minute, and it's like. And you kind of get, you guys get mad. Like, that could have really hurt you if you were a weaker man. Oh! Have you no! I'm have you no! Respect for your elders! I'm the only one who's got I don't respect no elders, old man! <laughs> and you just hear, like, oh. like an emo teen. I'm just thinking of an emo it's teenager. Emo teen. Come out! Or I'm going to burn your house down! <laughs> Prepare to burn the house down. What? <laughs> I'm not. I'm like I'm dragonborn here, and I'm probably not gonna. I'm, just... I'm looking at both of you, by the way. <laughs> Prepare to burn the house down. I'm like looking at him. Get your going... hairy butt off my lawn. I take another wisdom saving throw. <laughs> uh, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not sure That's uh, twenty one. <laughs> yeah, you you kind of hurt by the hairy butt thing, and then you're like, no, wait, what? I have a hairy chest. <laughs> my butt 
is as shaved as a baby's. Bottom? No! <laughs> and I'm going to, Mom says, ready yourself, we're going to smoke this bastard out. At that point, uh, about five crimson riders you recognize them as uh, burst out and uh, all start taking crossbow shots at you. Just him? At all of me or just me? All, all of you. Me? Okay. I need to take out my shield for this. Do I need to roll for, like, shield or something? Uh, no, you don't have to roll for shield. Okay, okay uh, that's an 8 to hit lock break. That, no. A 15 to hit Gregory. That just hit. That's just hits. Because I have 15 armor. You sure you need those? Yes. Alright. Asher, can I see my... Uh, 13 to hit uh, Ray Ordan. Crap. Oh, wait, no, I'm good. <laughs> good. And what do you thought he said? 31? 11 to hit. Uh, I, I forgot it's my other character now. So. I have okay. 16 normal class. Though. You're good. That, okay, yeah, that's mine, but alright. Well, where'd mine go then? My other character has a summer class. I was confused. Okay. I don't know, where did yours go? Does Zandy have it? Yeah, what are you talking about? My, I oh. my place. I want and the one. final one is also Sorry. gonna be Gregory, and that's a 12 to hit. Nope. Alright. So only one hits me. So only one hits you and deals. Uh, six points of damage. So yeah, these guys come up. They're very, like, they, they weren't really prepared. They all take crossbow shots at you. Raridan, uh, you just, it just bounces off your armor. Uh, lock break, just barely ducks one. You're standing there with your shield that just kind of ping. And uh, one just flies over Gregory's head, but the second one slams right into your stomach, right through your armor. And you feel it poke through. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, do you need help with that? <laughs> I'm just gonna... Like, no! I got this. Oh, well, no. Okay, so... I don't uh, you all to roll initiative now. Oh, boy. I'm gonna suck. Four for... Ni- I got four. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, roll that five. initiative, which is, like, right up there. Uh, yeah, it's four. All right, who's so, got 20 and above? 23 for once. All right. I ain't roll, I ain't roll crap. That's how I go over all my spells. I got an idea. Alright, who got 15 to 20? Uh, 15 to 20? Yes. No. Alright, uh, 10 to 15? 12. Alright, 10 and below. Five. Wait on me. Five. Four. Five and four, okay. Corvina's still out with the, uh... Yes. The okay, horses. so she's not going to be... And yes. where, what did the other guy get? Six. 16 plus 2, so 18. What was yours, Andy? Uh, 15. All right. Or 12, I mean. 12, 12. Sorry. All right. Doesn't make any difference. All right. The first person to go is lock break. Um, how much cover is there around? Like, you're just... currently in the front yard with not much cover. Okay. How are we gonna yeah, set this sure. up? Here, we gotta set it up. I forgot my fidget cube today. It's all good. This is that. That was he's using that as the house. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you need a board? Set yourself guys up board. right oh, here. Oh, he has a board. You have a board? Yeah, he, he yeah. made one. Nice. Oh, my house. Nice. Oh, jeez. It right. ex- it folds open. Can use the other half. If you need. All right, we won't need that right I now. I think we'll just need this. Half. I'll move it. Here we go. All right, set your guys up right here. Um, I'm sure you're you're up front. You don't want to scream your head off. Yeah, I'm gonna set my guy like right here. <clears throat> I'm just trying Which to one is the uh, emo kid? Uh, he's in the house. You haven't actually seen him. These guys are just in. Two of them are inside the house, shooting out the windows. Right Three of them are on the porch. I'm just gonna open this and shove this little guy in. I uh, don't. Don't bother. Yeah, don't bother. Okay, don't bother. Okay. All right. I was trying to think. Um, <laughs> all right. Lock break. You're first. Okay. So. Which one's lock break? The uh, Triceratops? You have one spell slot. Interesting. Yeah, but still tons of cantrips to use. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to think of something. By tons, he means three. <laughs> three whole cantrips. Three cantrips, but I use them, right? Well, what cantrips are they? Minor Illusion, Mage Hand, and... Blade Ward. Blade Ward, oh, those are good. Blade and Ward his do? Mage Hand is invisible. What's Blade Ward do? Uh, 
If you, uh, if it protects you, it'll give you resistance hand, for a turn. You're rewarding until the end of your next turn. You have resistance against weapon attacks. Okay. Origin. It's pretty just... good. Pretty good. <coughs> okay. Pretty nice. Mm-hmm. I need to okay. write down this maneuver. <coughs> Can I count the last sheets like to Thank see Battle Master? Sure. I need to, to write down the maneuvers. Like what they do, I mean. Alright. Uh, what are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm going Thank to... Um... <coughs> Leaves count cunning action. I'm going to um, obviously fire my my uh, short bow. All right. At, Make it. Uh, I'm not even trying to see this fire. Ten dex is fourteen against uh, man. All right. I think that just hits. All right. <clears throat> short bow one d six plus four. Let me see if I have anything. Um, it's a d6. Just roll yeah. a d6. You don't get sneak attack damage or anything. Meg's here. Okay, Yay. four, eight. Yay! All right, you do eight points of damage to that guy. He's still standing though. Is right. Birdman? Uh, no, one of the guys that Lock Break just shot. Okay. Well, no, I mean to the bird icon. Huh? This one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's okay. what I was hitting. Um, All right. Now, it is their turn. Enemy number one. Uh, yes, that is the be- these uh, Crimson Riders. And they are going to... Uh, these three, these two actually, they're going to rush forward, and they're going to attempt to slice up Gregory Phillips with over these them. scimitars that they pull over. Oh, uh, one is a 16 to hit. That hits. And the other is an 11 to hit. Nope. All right. Uh, one guy, you manage to deftly, like, block it with a crossbow. Ha! The other, well, you're distracted with that. The other one, shing, slashes right across your arm. Okay. Ah! You take <laughs> six points of damage. Tis but a flesh wound! All right. Um, Next now is enemy it, number two. I'm moving Oh, you're moving them around? Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Sorry, John. Enemy number two, you hear the, the emo kid. Uh, Vilnius up in the, here, Max here. Okay. It is now emo kid Vilnius' turn. So he is the okay. the uh, the young punk who killed your son, Dag, over yeah. a girl named Liana. Liana. And he goes like, "Why you gotta be crimping my style, man? Just go away!" <laughs> and he's going to taunt you. Taunt Gregory. Uh, Gregory, you need to make a charisma saving throw. Okay. Just, uh, let me check my modifiers. Where am I? Which, where, where? You're not here yet. You'll I have in the next round. 19 yeah, plus 3, 22. Okay, yeah, you you feel this magic kind of overtake you for a second, and you're like, it's like, no, why am I? Why would I do that? No, screw this. No, screw you, you little punks. <laughs> ah, stop shaking it off, man. Never, I'll never shake it off. And uh, and as his action, because that was a bonus action. Dude, let's he's gonna go take surfing. A, he's gonna take a pot shot at you. With what? That's a 15 to hit. That hits. With what? Uh, a bow. You see a bow come out as he as, as he peeks out the window. And that is five points of damage. Okay. He, so yeah, this guy. You see he has, he puts a dulcimer down real quick. Points a bow at you. Ping, and uh, an arrow goes right into your. You know what? Right, I, pokes right through your. You know what, not even my turn yet. I'm already almost at half health. Yeah, I'm gonna be using something on you. And now it's Gregory's turn. Okay. I'm obviously, after getting shot with a uh, twice and cut, my arm got cut up. I'm just fuming with murderous rage. Not more. Well, not as much as I would. Uh, as I would be. Not as much as I would be once I meet this little asshole. And I'm going to take two shots at this um, samurai dude. Alright, make two hand crossbow shots. Right? (laughs) First shot, 17 plus 5. That will hit. Second shot, 16. That will also hit. Yay! These guys are in leather armor and they are not fast. That will be 9 for the first shot, and 
Seven for the second shot. Oh, you kill him. Sixteen damage. Bye bye. Okay, so Gregory, fast as lightning as always. Two cross hand crossbow shots. <laughs> One dead crimson rider. Okay, after that, I'm going to just uh, this is a, this is just me to be Gregory. So let's, I'm just gonna point my crossbow and just point at the other guy like, I'm gonna murder you next. You done? That is his turn. Yep. All right, who is it now? Uh, me. This dude right here. Robert and Volgoth, what would you like to do? All right. You're taking L's, right? I'm taking L's. Um, I, can, I, can, I can probably heal you, but why would I? You want him dead. Well, are you shitty, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> if you're dead, I can't turn you in, and I can't collect my bounty. So, you don't even know if there's a bounty. Like, honestly, you just met Gregory Phillips, like, yesterday. Oh, no, man. I, I've seen or him. a few days ago. People want him dead, and that's all I know. And, uh... Yeah, most of the people are men. <laughs> 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 you never know. There could be a strange single mother somewhere in the world trying to kill me. Could be. That's could probably, be. like, one-third of the list. No husband. How much is a uh, kill no, wounds again? Yeah. No, in, in his infinite book, he had. The, I saw my character saw it, no We husbands. went deeply into this, yeah. Okay. I, because I came from asking right, about the down. fucking book. I'm gonna heal him. All right, cure wounds. Oh, I need a roll for this, huh? Uh, I need to roll a d8. Was it? It's a d8, yeah, it's a d8. Plus, plus wisdom. wisdom, right? And an extra d8 for le- every level. Five. Five. I'm still at level one, so that'll be so eight. All right, you get eight points of health back. <coughs> As Rar- again, once again, Rarodan comes up on your back. I get it. See that gentle, those that those familiar hands. Oh, Felicity, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> it's not Felicity. <laughs> oh, never mind then. I'm gonna show it to you. <laughs> What'd you say? I love turning it uh, t- turning. Pins. Turning you on. <laughs> I love turning you on. Oh, I don't care. That came out wrong. Uh, the other one, the Raven Queen stuff, is in my bag. It's all good. Um, I need to look at it real quick. Go get it. Oh, I'll get it. Where's your bag? So, is in this guy done? Yeah, it's, it's your turn. It's right. in your room. Uh, rare again, there's nothing else you want to do. Nothing else you want to do? No, I don't want to move. You're good. Yeah. Right. I, think we'll I, pro- I should probably wait for Dean. I want to do a mage hands on like one of the guys' weapons, just rip them out of their hands. Is that puzzle? Thank you. Using no, you can take hands, the rogue paper has an ability with mage hands. If I can. All right, whose turn is it? Mine. Hold up, give me a sec. I just need to flip this coin. All right, and now I know. I now know what I, what I want to do now. Okay, I'm gonna approach Gregory and, for the sake of things, give him give him all what I have all what I have for my lay hands, which is ten, which is ten, right? No, now it's fifteen. Now it's fifteen. Yeah, because you're level three and it's five times your level. Oh, okay. I'm probably gonna get. I'm pro- then I'll just give him ten for ten for my uh, lay hands. All right, you give him ten points of health. Okay. Uh, Whipper. The, this nice dragonborn so lady me, steps right? up, and doing? you get another hand on your shoulder. Because I, I, you and I agreed that I'm just, I'm just making sure that these idiots don't kill them, don't get themselves killed. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, and you have a bonus action. Oh, and a movement. I don't know if you can do anything else. Um, let's see. um, let's see. I'll probably throw a javelin at this. That's dude. an action. You can't do. That. Damn it. You I used your action to heal Gregory. Oh, damn it. So um, if, you, if you'd like to end your turn? Yeah, I'll probably end my turn. Here. I'm at max health now, peoples. All right. You're welcome. Yeah. Yay. That's uh. Now it's lock break. Uh, Corvina, I'm asking you to roll the initiative. All right. Yeah. I'll use purple for her. So many dice. Why would you need so many dice? It's like a candy factory. Twelve oh. plus two. Fourteen. That's behind uh, Gregory. Gregory. Or no, that's above Gregory. Above Gregory? I Gregory. thought you had fourteen. No, no, Gregory's twelve. He was twelve. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. You came in then, like right, right after. All right. So Corvina, Andy seeing through yeah. Meru's eyes as she is standing on a, a, a Whipper's shoulders. You notice they're in trouble, and you're like, God damn it, and you finish up your business with the blacksmith, and you've run over okay. uh, at, at a minute ago. What was yeah. my business with the blacksmith? You were changing up deliveries on your horses, saddles, and stuff like that, so they don't have Crimson Rider gunk okay. all over them. Uh, anyways, lock break, it is your turn. Yeah, just give me a sec. 
How far is uh, the emo guy? Each square is five. Each square is five, and he's up higher, so... Yep. So he's roughly... Yeah, and he's in a window, so he has some cover. For the sake of everything, you will be the blue ninja. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm so the blue uh, ninja. you can take your usual one if you want. What's your usual one? Bird. This one? Bird. Okay, so what I want to do... Does the samurai have like a long range crossbow? Or the, yeah, he has a crossbow. So what I want to do, I want to use mage hands and try and rip it from his hands. Alright. So can do that? Make me an arcana check. The thing. Also, uh, check mage hand and see how much you can actually lift well, with that thing. Um, I think you can only lift like small objects. It's like 10 pounds. Depends how big it is. It was less than 20 pounds. Um, uh, hands, uh, okay, this hand, the hand can't attack after it magic items are coming more than 10 pounds. How heavy is the crossbow? Crossbow shouldn't be more than, like, a mom. Yeah, I think crossbows are less than 10 pounds, right? Not Let's right check, because they tell you how much these things weigh, I'm pretty sure. They do. Yeah, they do. What am I, should I put? Is this like a light crossbow or a heavy crossbow? This is a light crossbow and it weighs five pounds. All right. Hey, there we go. So I'm just gonna. So what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna roll me an Arcana check to see if you can pull this thing out of this guy's grasp. Is the guy also going to make a strength save? He is. He's going to make an athletics check to try and hold on to his crossbow. I forgot. Was I supposed to put two daggers for my inventory? Yes. Okay. Put two daggers. Okay. Arcana sixteen versus. Let's see. Plus his athletics, he got a 14. So I just. So yeah, you just managed to just pull this guy's crossbow, and he's like, no, and then he get he reaches the railing on the porch, and he's like, nah. I guess he just rip it from his hands, and I just toss it behind. He's reaching for it. Yep. So uh, is you, that my main move, or can I still? You managed to get the crossbow about halfway between you and him. Right. I'll say. So can I attack now, or is that my? That hand? was your action. You cast a spell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So I can't do anything else. You have your cunning action, bonus action stuff as usual. Cunning action, dash, disengage or hide. Um, I'm gonna stay where I am. All right. Now whose turn is it? That works. Bad guys' turn. Bad guys. Okay, now the Crimson Riders go. It's my friend. Like, how'd that board get my stuff away from me? All right. Did you toss me a laser net? Uh, the two that are inside in the windows are going to take shots at you now. Yeah. Because they've seen you can disarm them. That is an 18 to hit. No, I'm hit. And that's a 17 to hit. I'll also hit. All right. You take... Whoops. Has to be rolled with intent. You take eight points of damage as two crossbow bolts <laughs> go right through your leather armor and hit you. Ouch. Oh, wait, I've been doing that wrong. Okay, whatever. I already said it. So for future, it's a D8 for crossbow damage they do. Uh, all right, and the third guy who, has, who just got his crossbow stolen and he's pretty badly hurt, he's going to go like, I'll get paid enough for this, and he runs inside. Uh, so he goes inside the house. And the one who's attacking Gregory, uh, he's going to take another shot with his scimitar. Is enemy, enemy number two or still enemy number two? Uh, this is still enemy number one, okay. because it's a group uh, thing for them. Oh. And that is a ten to hit Gregory. No! All right. He slices at you again. You block it with another crossbow, because you're agile, and you can do that, and your crossbows are pretty damn good. All no, right. there's no ball. Then a Phillips brand crossbow. And I'm just, I'm just like, is it really the time to sponsor something? I'm not, I'm not. This is out of character. I'm just giving everyone a bit of, all right, a bit of world building. Vilnius's turn. Damn it, Phillips. Vilnius, as his, uh, ooh, what is that spell? <laughs> Checking spells that a bard can do. All right, let's see, let's see, what would he do? Okay, that one's a pretty good one. And let's see. He has a few options on the table. 
Uh, he's like, basically just like, Go away, man! You're freaking killing my vibes! Okay, yeah, he's definitely gonna use this one. It sounds uh, like a 70s stoner. <laughs> Just so you know, um, First off, is John, I need, me, I need you to make a, a, uh, a charisma saving kid. throw. <laughs> it's, we just decided on a little kid for some reason because of the way he, he made him sound. <laughs> 5 plus charisma. Nah, that's no problem. Alright, uh, so he's like, Your feathers look stupid, you dork! Oh, Stop shit. cosplaying, you damn furry! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, no. No. You feel I, I really, to, you feel no, really hurt. Too. You feel really hurt by that, and now you have disadvantage on ability checks, attack rolls, and saving throws until the next round. Oh shit! Oh, I felt that one, bro. Oh, you know what? That's fine because his <laughs> turn already went. So yeah. And now, uh, you hear him playing his dulcimer up there again. And yeah, that's in range. I need all of you, except for Corvina. To make a constitution saving throw. Okay, here we go. I have a natural 20. 17 total. Uh, 12. That story just... Alright. Well, uh... 12. Okay, uh, who got above 12? Alright, John, what'd you get? 3. I'm probably gonna... Uh, 12. 12 exactly. 12 exactly. That just beats it. So you, all, all three of you, except for Lockbreak... Take half damage. I have this. natural twenty. Yeah, you got a natural twenty. That doesn't do anything. Uh, well, that was my entire. It'll make 20. it'll make you look awesome during this. Trust me. Okay. Uh, how much damage uh, do we take? So... Let me see. Okay, okay. So, you hear this dulcimer, uh, yes. making sound, and then a, a sudden sharp ringing. He goes buzz off, man. And then this ringing noise, like the spe- like speakers actually. Yeah. Like. Ringing noise in your ears, ah! And you all uh, get caught in this blast of sound, and seven, nine. All right. Um. So you three take four points of damage. Oh, thank God. Lockbreak takes nine points of damage. So the three of you, you all get caught in this, but you kind of like ah, you cover your ears in time. Uh, Gregory Phillips. Like, just straight up kind of leaps clear of the radius, like, <laughs> Like, he, over his own voice, he's kind of knows the effects of it. <laughs> Making himself louder. Lockbreak, though, like, he, he kneels down for a second. His, this is, is just deafening. S- sensitive bird ears. Like, you've got, like, even after the attack is done, like, there's a ringing in your ears, like, ow, okay. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> And uh, that is his turn. All right, now it is Corvina. Yes, Corvina, you arrive on the scene just in time. Uh, you're down here. There's a gate right here, but you can easily hop over it. It's waist, waist high. height. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you are ever in range for your Eldritch Blast. What would you like to do? Yeah, I'm gonna hop over the gate. All right, you do so easily. Mm-hmm. Does that like count as some of her movement? It's or some no? of her movement. Yes. Yeah. Um. Uh, who are the bad guys here? Those ones. They're up in a house. Currently, there's a bard in the window on the second story, and there's okay. two uh, crimson riders you can barely see taking cover in windows inside, and one that you saw run run in the door from the porch just a okay. moment ago. What, what there's also this? one guy fighting Gregory. Um, does he look bloodied? In the yard, in the front yard. Yeah, um, no, he hasn't been hit yet, I believe. He hasn't been hit yet? Not at all. Okay, um... None of the people that you can currently see are hurt. Except for, like, a dead guy at my There's feet. a dead guy at Gregory's feet, but that's not unusual. <laughs> <laughs> that's Usually true. a dead man or a very turned-on lady. Uh, oh, yes, we can do that. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think you can just about make it to him. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, don't do that. <laughs> Which computer did something weird? Uh... So, you think, like, man, I really want to get in close and get this guy. Yeah. And and you remember speaking with your uh, your patron, and she's, yeah. like, and uh, your pa- you hear in your voice that, you, in your head you hear that familiar voice, like, send them to me. 
now. And you, you feel this power in you. And you put your hands together. And this staff starts appearing. And you curve it at the end. And you are now holding a scythe. Oh, oh, damn! Yeah. Oh, Aldrich right. Scythe. That shit is sick as fuck. Alright, I'm gonna run up to this guy. Can I make it? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna run up to him. I'm gonna slash at him with my scythe. Make a scythe attack. 10 plus 4, that's 14. That will hit. Okay, 1d8. That's a D10. D8. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's a D8. Don't confuse her. And I do two bit. <laughs> oh, Four two, two plus? I, I, two I plus no. I pat you on. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure we made it first. Was it like didn't we? strength? No, we made it first. We made it first. Oh, we oh, made we it. We made it we finesse. Didn't, we didn't put it. Okay. We yeah. customized it. So you two do four points two, of damage. Four points of damage. All right. Out of nowhere, Corvina runs up. She has a scythe now, apparently. It looks really cool. It's got, it's really Badass. long and made of black wood. Shadows are coming out of it. And there's, yeah, there's some raven feathers at the top, and she yeah. just comes up and slashes this guy across his armor. There's a big old gash across his chest now. Like, what, what the? He didn't see her coming. Uh, and that is Corvina's turn. Yes. Uh, no, nope. you still have a bonus action. Uh, and that's it. Uh, can I do anything on that bonus action? Hold on. I should have looked this up beforehand. Thank you, guys. Uh, I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think I can, but I might be able to. I'm not sure. Tell you what, if you find something, we'll come back to it. Okay. Uh, for now. Whose turn is it? Gregory Phillips! Gregory Phillips! Gregory Phillips! What was your name again? <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan, Gregory? Well, seeing as Corvina seems to have uh, this guy pretty occupied, I'm going to... Um, um, hmm. Let me think here. What do I want to do? What are my options currently? Hmm, we I, have crossbows. <laughs> crossbows. I have and cross- two crossbows, <laughs> but I also have... That little shaving yeah, crossbow. Ten beers. <laughs> I also have two of that buff brew. I'm playing this out. I literally just call it buff brew. In case someone dies. And I also have a roll teepee. I'm going to move that one. Why roll? You oh, that, yeah. actually. You should have yeah. removed that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you have a lifetime yeah. of TP. Instead, I you am do. going... You need to erase that TP. Okay. You, you set that on fire. Oh, yeah, okay. What I'll do that know? after my attack. How First attack, you. I'm going to use my newest invention, the crossed dagger bow. Oh, yes. boy. And I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to fire at that little shit. Uh, the bard? Yeah. All right, make an attack roll. Okay. And this is one of your battle master tactics? Yeah. Oh, All right, tell me about this one. What is it? Okay, so basically, it's a disarming attack. And, uh, I expend one superiority die. And, um, I add the die to my attack. Way more money. Uh, to my attack damage roll, and it has to make a strength save, and on the failed save, it drops the object of the uh, it drops an object of my choice. All right, make an attack roll. He is currently holding his dulcimer, as a matter of fact. That is. I'm gonna roll that again because that cocked up. Sixteen plus five, twenty-one. Oh damn! All right, yeah, that will, even with cover in the window, that will hit him. And that will be my like, heavy crossbow. All right. I use heavy crossbows for my it's special gonna kill the window. Damage. Roll some damage. Plus, I also added my D8. All right. That will be 12 damage plus one. So 13 damage. All right. He takes that. All right. And he also now has to make a saving roll. Yes, he does. And what is the DC for this? Uh, strength. I know, but how much does he have to get? Oh, uh, 11. Or All less. right. 11? Or le- 11 or more. 
Yeah, he doesn't do that. He rolled a nine. Yeah. So you you reach up. You're this is the guy who killed your son. You're done with this. So you reach past the guy who's in front of you right now. Corvino's got him. Yeah. You pull out your heavy crossbow. <laughs> slow motion following this thing, like it goes right past the windowsill. <laughs> hits this guy right in the. There's like a dagger attached like, to a crossbow bolt. Like skins his hand. <laughs> hits him right in the shoulder. He drops his dulcimer. It's now on the balcony, yeah. on like the roof. Okay, right so here. here's how it works. This dagger is attached to a mechanism as it fires. Oh yeah, it's a crossbow bolt. The, the, it's bolt, crossbow the, bolt. the, the bolt fires off this dagger, comes off the bolt as it flies, and it hits the dulcimer as his hand, as the bolt hits him. All right, yeah, that happens. And he drops his dulcimer onto the roof uh, in front of him. So now if he wants to get it, he'll have to crawl And I, t- and I shout screen. out to him, That's what you get for messing with a Phillips! <laughs> Go to hell, you... Ah, this is my hand! <laughs> I need this to play! Uh, so, oh, so where's Gregory right now? I'm the... Oh, you, hell still, you still have your bonus? No, because you're is not he still in the same you're not spot? Right now. No. All right. I still have my bonus action, but I'm not going to do it. So have your bonus I right? am... Done. I'm done. Is All he right. um, still in the same spot? Or yeah, I'm still in the same spot. Okay. It's weird no one's moved. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm moved, but... All right. Um, Lockbreak still has disadvantage, right? He does. Deadly. I'm going to drop a Guidance on him. Is it touch? It's or... touch. Oh, no, wait. Also, Maybe I'm he down, to, I'm down um, to four health, so... Well, he has oh, disadvantage huh? on any way. I mean, I mean oh, yeah, check, so... Okay, I do have a bonus action. Oh, yes? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to cast... You can't cast. It's not your turn. No, but he said... I, I told her to hold on to it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I cast Sanctuary on... Um, Gregory. All right. What did Sanctuary do? Um, it... it uh, uh, you ward a creature within range against attack... Um, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. Alright, you do so. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. Yeah, alright, um, so... Yeah. Yeah, uh, Corvina reaches out and touches, uh, casts a quick spell on you. You feel yourself <laughs> oddly <laughs> protected. me, you witch! <laughs> <laughs> I love this look that Meg is giving. I, I'm pretty sure that's Corvina. That is Corvina. Right? Um, all right, it's who is Corvina. it? We start right down. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a heal on John. Well, which which uh, uh, nature and is wh- he? And while I while I cast this, I say the, uh, I need you alive so you can right. honor can our deal. Can you me like I'm, I'm behind you? Die. Not the filthy yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm gonna drop a heal on. Oh, oh shit! Oh, sorry, I did, I did not mean to do that. All right. Uh, you heal six. Thanks. Thanks. Well, actually, is it too late to use a second level spell slot? If you want to add another D8 to that, go for it. Alright. So it's ten, so far, plus... Wait, were you healing him? Six. Yeah, yeah, I'm dropping a heal. Alright, plus seven. Yeah, how did you get... Uh, oh, uh, you heal thirteen, John. Yes. yes. So heal thirteen. Yeah, yeah thirteen together. Okay, so I'm You get thirteen plus from where you were. All right, uh, whose turn is it now? Mine. All Unless right. you have a bonus action or a movement, you know? No. Well, all right, because you're all kind of just standing in the front yard, and, uh, not Not moving at the moment. I'm support, bro. Okay. Um, I'm going to assist Corvina with the uh, attacking of this dude right here, and I will throw out... I will... You have to move up. Yeah. Probably want to hear here. I'll yeah. probably not in front of Gregory Phillips. I don't want to be. My character does not want does not want to be in the crossfire with this guy. Um, and then I'll like try to slash him with my longsword. All right, make a longsword attack for me. One handed. Uh, yeah, one handed. I use the d20. Yes. Okay. Wee! Oh, seven. Fuck. All right. Uh, plus your attack modifier. Mm-hmm. Attack modifier. Can That's modifier? plus your proficiency and your strength. So like proficiency. plus four. Mm-hmm. Your scrubbies. Yeah, proficiency and strength. So that'd be yeah, nine. Pl- yeah, nine. Oh wait, no. Plus your strength. So nine plus. Uh. Nine plus four. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. So eleven. Uh, that will not hit. Damn it. So good. Uh, so you reach out, you try to hit this guy with your longsword, but it's not enough. He, he uh, parries it with his scimitar. 
Ting. Uh, and uh, now it is lock break. A lock break is uh, no longer disadvantage because it's uh, the second round. He has disadvantage until it's the bard's next turn. Oh, okay. Okay, so well, I'm I said one. round to make it simple. Okay. okay. Excuse me. I'm gonna move okay, sorry. away from the crossbar. All right. So this is five. Yeah, yeah all this is five. That's five. You can move diagonally as long as no enemy is like near next to you. So I'm in the blind spot. Uh, you're going around the house basically. Oh. This house is pretty. Big. So this, I'll say this is the side of the house. So I must be right up here. Is that all right. Thirty. Um, all right, you are hiding on the side of the house now. What would you like to do? I'm gonna try and mate. Like, what's the uh, what's this parent guy guy? Is he holding a crossbow? He's got a crossbow too, but he's in the window and you can't see him at the moment because you ran to the side of the house. Right. He's got in cover. Come on, so here. There's a large house with a porch and uh, and two windows in the front uh, that are have a door sandwich between them, and that's where those two guys are. They're currently firing crossbow bolts out of the windows. Hmm. I don't think what I would be able to do. What? Do not think this through. Um, I wonder if I'd be able to do a minor illusion. Uh, what do you want to do an illusion of? Let's see. Let me just. Magic drawing, magic drawing. Okay, here we go. I press on an image, then image. I'm going to cast illusion on myself to throw their aim off. What do you mean? Basically, a. Like, big... make it look like he's at one place, but really he's at. That's not. No, minor illusion can't do that. Oh, right, then. This has to be something small, I'm pretty sure. Gary? It's a 5x5 image. Or sound. It has to be a 5x5 five five image or sound. Five by five image. It's like a five by five image, or like a like a sound as loud as a scream. So I think I'm gonna try and um, basically try and do a dragon like roar. All Is right. That minor illusion. You don't have to roll for that. You just do it. So make me a deception check with disadvantage. With disadvantage. That's <laughs> All right. So ten. Okay. So we have nine deception. Plus four, that's thirteen, I believe. Yeah, um, these guys, they're like, what the hell was that? Ignore it! Kill that man! <laughs> Kill the man with who is- Kill that guy, he's killing my steez, man! <laughs> <laughs> Kill the man with the hairy chest! So basically- They don't know that I have a hairy chest. <laughs> you mentioned it. Turn off his eyes, they'll know soon. Alright, um, whose turn is it now? Bad guy number one. Bad guy number one. All right, the bandits take some more shots at you through from the window. I'm not bandits. Crimson Riders. Crimson Riders. Well, there are bandits, technically. They are kind of bandits. Kamala told you as much. Uh, one of them aims for Gregory uh, and another for uh, Corvina. Uh, the one hitting Gregory got a seven to nope. hit. Nope. Uh, and that's an unnatural 20 to hit Corvina. Yeah, that'll be it. Alright, you take three points of piercing damage. Okay. As a crossbow bolt uh, slips by your defenses and pierces you right in the side. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing shit. Just for the sake of anything, I'm do- I just for the sake of everything and for our friendship, Shield of Faith on my next turn. Alright. Okay, thank you. And now, since he can't see Lockbreak, he's not gonna bother doing it again. But you're gonna like, we're gonna get you, old man! You're not, you're not fit enough to fight no more, and you need to make a charisma saving throw. Oh boy. That is, uh, that's, uh, 18. Yeah, you, you're like, like, man, this guy really sucks at insults. I just killed, like, one of your guys, (laughs) and I shot your fucking guitar out of your hand. Uh, <laughs> shut up! And he's like crawling onto the roof now, you can see. So now he no longer has cover and extra AC. He's trying to flat. reach for that. And he picks up his dulcimer. And, uh, which I can show you all a little bit. Uh, 
what a dosimer looks like? Yeah, a little bit. It looks like that, sort of. Hmm. Looks like a dumb guitar. Yeah, it's like a weird. It's like a loop. Yeah, it's it's oh, a damn. weird thing. Um, and uh, he's be like, uh, actually picking it up would probably be his action. Yeah. So, yeah, he's on the roof now. No AC. Uh, uh, no no cover. 